go. Pretty fun, this track in general, but it's going to be really key, I'd say, for most of the guys, is focusing on the release of the break. That's kind of going to be what I'm going to think about first for everyone when I'm going over this driving, the line and the tutorial and everything for this track. But other than that, this track is pretty simple in this car, <laughs> just because it's uh, a lot of this track is going to be more or less open throttle in a car like this. Just a little tidbits to take with you as you come into the lap. For here, I'll go and slow down for turn one to see where the first breakpoint is. I'll say the breakpoint is about here. Now I say about here because I want you to be focusing more on when you're releasing the brakes, right? So you'll be braking in between this little patch behind me, right about yay so between this patch and that um, piece of tarmac that comes blends off the road. This is be about where you're going to start your braking, but I want you to release the brakes as you're turning in here into this first corner and as you're about to approach that first apex. You're releasing the brakes off as you're turning the wheel more into the apex and then you're going to be bringing the brakes back on as you straighten out when you're coming into turn two here. Also, if you have any questions, you can feel free to like chime in but release the coast at any point here um for me yeah well i coast to a point that once we're in between these corners i'll release the brake so lightly that i'll come back onto the brake and that might be about where the coast is when i was doing some practice here i sometimes did a little bit of throttle in between and that some guys like to do it but i personally don't you're just wasting time wasting energy putting on throttle trying to go in between these two corners here so you release the brakes by about this point and then you're going to start bringing the brakes back on as we get to about so right through here releasing the brakes feeling the car it's a lot about feeling the car through this section here you don't need to go all the way wide up here on the top of the track for the as you're coming into turn two you're just going to be bringing it up and following the camber as you come back down here you'll be off the brakes by about this point and then you're focusing, as you're coming off the brakes, you're focusing on getting the, on the throttle as early as possible and not running wide. I know that that's going to be sort of a thing for a lot of guys, is that when they're coming out of here, they're like, okay, I need to get the throttle on, I need to keep my delta bar up. <laughs> and they'll run wide out and go into the grass and lose time, get an off track, uh, what have you. The focus is, as you're coming into here, I go down to second gear. You can run this in third gear, but I go down to second gear. And in third gear, it could be as could be just about as quick. Um, I wouldn't say no to, to either one, but you definitely want to get down to third or second and get on the gas early enough. But you want to have the car pitched in or rotated. And how are you going to have the car pitched in or rotated? Is by not having a ton of gas as you're coming into this corner. Pretty simple. As you're exiting, coming through here, some guys upshift to fourth. I wouldn't recommend it. Just keep this whole section easy. We're to come from from way over on the right side. And this is going to be about where you're going to start turning in. You're turning in relatively late so that you're going to turn in relatively late for the next corner, right? So we're coming into here. I say keep it in third and you don't have to break. You just lift coming into here. And then this is going to be the important bit. You're lifting. You're kind of rolling off the throttle, lifting. And a lot of this whole section is going to be about feel. So. I could say lift here and then break here and then lift here and then break here. There's going to be a few different techniques that you can use. You can try to just lift and coast through the whole section and be just as fast as if you were to do a little bit of break in some of these uh, corners here. But for what I recommend, right through here, we're lifting, we're bringing the car over late and you're kind of, you're going to want to try and match these creases. So you could see like where the tire marks are in the road. That's where you're going to be trying to aim to bring the car over. If you want to have a guide for when you're going to try to bring the car back in, you're going to be grabbing that curb and then also grabbing this curb. The car is fine over the curbs. One thing I will note, though, I would like to, of course, I'd like to go back, but I don't want to get DQ'd. <laughs> but that back there, that curb, important bit to that is not to go over to the green uh, patches there. That's going to have you lose time because this car is so low. Um, and also such low, horse, low horsepower that if you go in and over, um, set, also when it's set up for this corner over here, going over that curb will slow you down. 
So then going through here, we're once again trying to... Ah, sure. Especially in a car like this, in some of the cars with a little bit higher ride height and more power, you can try and run over the curbs a bit more. But in this car, for the purposes, I try to keep the car as poised as possible. So right here, you can give it a good example of where I want you to go over here, over here. And as you bring it in here, you'll be grabbing this curb, but I don't want you to grab here, this green curb on the side here. What that'll do is it'll slow you down because the car at a point will start to lift up a bit. That's the key note through that section. Then right here, this corner, as long as you can try to get in quick enough and then get out quick enough. It's going to be a corner where you're trying to set up the exit as you're on the entrance, but you're tickling and kind of finessing the car through this corner. There's no said right way of trying to approach it. But what I will say is that you need to be bringing the car back over to the right by the time you're exiting this corner. I don't want to see you in the middle of the track for this, for coming out of the exit here. Because that's just going to be losing you time as you're coming through this whole back section. So as long as you can come out of here, at around this line, bringing the car back over to here or further over, and then keeping the throttle, and then trying to hold the car as fast as you can through this section. You're once again working with the car, working with what you got through, trying to come up through this there. Now right here, it's important not to brake too late and too hard for this corner. Um, this is going to be about where your brake point is. Funny enough, I'd say maybe about here, in between those two points. But the real key is, is when you're releasing the brakes, you're releasing it softly, as you're, you know, you're going to be aiming for that curb as you're come as you're pitching the car into this corner. So we're braking at about here, maybe a little bit later. But the key is, is that all right? So we're braking, we're braking, we're braking at this point. We're releasing the brake, grabbing over this curb and then getting right back under the throttle to try and bring the car back over here and then trying to not use too much of this curb on the outside because of course the curb will slow down the car because you're braking with one with two tires on rumble strips rather than the asphalt bringing the car in through here getting on the throttle as early as you can so right about here is where you'd be a throttle pickup point bringing the car out wide Alright, so then right through here, this will be about your break point. Right about where the shadow starts, it'll be about your break point. And then, me personally, there's about two lines you can take through here, try to go in as early as you can. For this car, I would use a, a wide line coming up through here. You can see the camber in the road as it dips down. We're releasing the brakes right about here, bringing the throttle on as early as we possibly can. Because this car is such low horsepower, and bringing it down through this whole section. Important with that corner is just braking as late as you can and not going wide on the exit. There's a little cheat to this whole section through here. It can kind of work in bigger cars, but especially works in this car because it's such low horsepower. It's keeping the car, I don't know if you saw, I saw some of Philippe's uh, track video, guide video, but keeping the car over to the right here because the track, I don't know, eye racing stuff. <laughs> You'll, you'll gain a little bit of time if you keep the car down at the inside of the track here. Now me personally, I like to go down to fourth for this corner. Uh, a few guys will say third. Uh, for me, I like to come break at about, of course, this little patch right here. I think that is for most cars in, in, in the game. Is break at about this patch, maybe a little bit around here. And then as you're bringing the brakes off, coming into here, so you're bringing the car in, bleeding the brakes off, you're in about fourth gear, right about here. You're, the focus is, for this corner, is trying to bring as much speed as you can into the apex and into the corner and through, and bringing the, so you can have the car go wide out here. Of course, try not to go too wide, but the focus is to try to bring as much entry speed in this corner as possible. You give no cares about the exit coming out of this corner. You give a lot, a lot of care about the exit coming out of the next corner. So your whole focus is trying to break as late and trying to bring as, roll as much speed as you can coming into here. 
and then so you can bring so you can keep the car so it's going wide it's going wide and then you're just messing with the gas you don't need to go full gas through here you're just trying to hold the car at, at this angle and then you're waiting a little bit patiently it doesn't it goes pretty quick though and then you're braking and then you're focusing on your pickup th point your pickup point on the throttle should be about here it should be about your pickup point as we're on the throttle and then we're exiting coming out of this corner The through spoon, relatively simple in this car. We're going to be focusing on bringing the car in at about the what? At about the 100, let's say 50. So right about here, we're focusing on bringing the car in, relatively simple corner. Bring as much throttle as we can at to about the apex, lifting at about the apex. So right about here is where we're lifting, grabbing. I like to grab a little bit of the apex and then get right back under the throttle. Right about there, in fifth gear. Can you shift that all through there, or you keep it in fifth? Fifth gear, whole way through. Just a small lift. And then right here, we're gonna hit about the 100 board. Uh, you break at about this point, right about here. So a little bit after the 100 board, what I want you to do though, is just, as you see the 100 board, you're gonna say, okay, all right, I see the 100 board, I need to break, right? at the hundred board and then let's say maybe a little bit after is okay but i want you to be looking at the hundred board and say okay i need to break about now right so then maybe you'll be breaking at about here actually but i want you to be focusing on breaking at about at about the hundred board because if you say okay this is the actual break point and then say all right let's go past the hundred board and then you'll probably end up breaking about here for this corner which might be too late And now a lot of guys will go into this corner super deep, find a ton of time, and then bounce over this curb or get a 1x maybe, and then bounce over that last curb. That last curb is important not to bounce and to just ruin the car over. So we're coming in through here, picking up this apex, and we're making sure we're bleeding, we're bleeding the brake off. We're off the brake completely at this point. We're feeding in the throttle, trying to bring the car so we're not doing this. Not like hopping the car over this curb and then going wide out there. I see a lot of guys doing this. What I want to see you do. Oops, not that. That was we're positioning the car. About this point is where you should be about. I want you to be focusing on bringing the car in as late as you can to bring the throttle on for coming out of here. Thanks again to Dakota for giving us a walkthrough this week. And if you'd like more instruction from Dakota, he also does private training. His contact information is in the description below. Dakota was also kind enough to share one of his fast lap replays with us. Enjoy.